Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. This time around without the accent and a few days late as the usual Sunday, I wasn't quite feeling like doing the video. So we're getting it today on Wednesday. Now, what I want to do this episode is set up my education system a little bit more and something that I should have done a long time ago, at least as long as the comments are concerned, um, is build a university. And I will do that right here. It's going to be relatively close to some of these building blocks and hopefully within walking distance of the bus platform. And by building one of these large education centers, the Technical University, I will be able to start educating my people and sort of unlock new buildings. It's not exactly a tech tree that you're getting, but you are getting some part of, um, let's say, unlockable buildings by doing that. Now, it looks like I'm only going to be able to set up the road on one part, unless I want to flip it like this, but then it takes up a hell of a lot of space. The alternative is to put it over here and just have a bus stop pretty close to it. And by doing that, just ferry in the people with the bus. Now, since I'm not really in a rush and my dollar situation is quite good, but not fantastic, I'm going to be doing this by just building it with my workforce. This one, the uh, school is still being built and we are still missing bricks, boards and steel. So let's have a look at the depots and see where exactly the bottleneck is. Because we do have steel, we do have... Oh, actually, yeah, we do have bricks, we do have wood. We do have boards. There should be plenty of resources here. The train has probably got quite a bit more to pick up here. 1500 tons of fuel. That's actually a completely filled up fuel storage over here. And it's starting to load fuel onto the train. But the train can only load 480 tons of it. So uh, it's going to take a few more trips to actually get that whole thing emptied. Which is pretty good news because that means more dollars for me. Now this building over here, the Tech University, is going to take a lot of resources. Loads and loads of work days are going to be required. Also 124 tons of concrete, lots of gravel and lots of asphalt. What I might be able to do to make sure that it speeds up a bit is employ some of my, or at least get some of my unemployed workers to actually start doing something useful here. Um, oh, the building's without power supply. Really? Ah, something's going on here. I think I might have disconnected this part and not ever reconnected it. So let's set up the infrastructure and this thing I will build using dollar. I'm going to build this sort of underneath. There. Now they should have power again and with it a bit more happiness. Now we still have the culture problem, we still have the church and spirituality thing. Um, at some point I hope to build a facility like a radio station or a TV station and that is going to allow me to quickly resolve that issue. But those are really expensive buildings and uh, they're a bit of a ways off. Considering that the research is going to take a bit of time and especially time to build this construction, I'm prioritizing this thing over building a TV slash radio station. Now what do we need most? Uh, concrete, gravel and asphalt. The tr dumper trucks are going back and forth the whole time, loading as much concrete as they can. Show me how we're doing here. Um, yeah, we had a bit of concrete, but unfortunately you can't really store that stuff. That is quite annoying because it means that you really have to just drive the truck in and, well, wait. There's not a whole lot more that you can do about it. It's not like they have uh, an asphalt, or sorry, concrete silo. You can build a plant, you can build a cement silo. You cannot store concrete. Which, of course, in a way makes sense. Because store concrete for long enough, and you can call it a building. Because it's not really going to be movable at all. Now, I can speed up construction by using a bit of my dollar supplies, but I, nah, I don't really want to. Simply because my dollars are, well, they're decent. But I think I might want to invest in my train a bit more. Because the train is just not capable of getting rid of all of this stuff. 
So the plan is, let the train go back to the export one more time. Then, get it back to the train depot. And once it's there, attach a few more wagons to it. So we can more efficiently empty up all the storage here. Uh, the amount of bitumen is not really a problem. But it's the amount of fuel that we're not really getting rid of. Now the train is already... Oh, yeah, it's at a vehicle. It's at a station. Uh, it's going to load 100% of... But I don't have it set to wait until low did. So it should be able to go at any point. Hold on, I could set it to load, let's say, 50%. Um, oh, no, never mind. I was thinking I could split it so that it has uh, a load, wait until loaded completely. Or wait until loaded half, but I don't need to do that at all. It just says load, and unless I have this ticked on, nothing really should be happening. The amount of rubles is going hmm, mostly down. And that's because I'm really not generating as much cash or as much rubles from the clothing industry as I'd expected. Sure enough, there is a bit of room to add more workers here. And I thought I had a bunch of workers. Uh, some of them still can't work because there's no kindergarten available, but most of these people are actually working for the party. Which is good news. But apparently I still need to build a few more of these buildings, or fill them up a bit more. Making sure that I get a few more people to work in the factories. Now I can do this using dollars. A few more third world workers. And I'm hoping to do it like this. So that I can then turn the workers, or have the workers turn uh, the, I think, US dollar bought resources into rubles. If it works. I've already set all of these things up to buy as dollars. But we're still bleeding um, rubles pretty bad. Because I still have a lot of loans. I still have a million two in loans. Uh, there is still a lot left owed. And I don't really know of a quick way of getting rid of that loan. I could, if I really wanted to, build a railway that goes all the way from the chemical plant, from the, yeah, here from the train, towards the border, the Russian border, that is. Uh, so say to Lolona, but I think that's going to be ridiculously expensive. Oh, I cannot even... I can't even park there with my train. So the stop would have to be in Kazanchad? Yeah, Kazanchad does have a railway station. That would be a hell of a drive for the train. It's not impossible, it's just a long way off. Now, speaking of the train, I do need to keep an eye on it. Because once it's done offloading, I'll have to tell it to go back to the depot. It's currently offloading. Still 70 tons of bitumen left. Now back to here. How much is waiting? 1500 tons of fuel. I just don't export it fast enough. Alright. Done. Go to the depot. Go here. Getting a second train, I think, is a bit too expensive. Oh, crap. I can only buy them using dollars. Oh, no. I really need to get my situation with the rubles under control. I could, as an alternative, buy a couple of larger trucks from the US. If they have those on offer. Let's see, where are my vehicle depots? Uh, here. No, this is construction office. Here, vehicle depot. Uh, unfortunately, they don't really have any kind of large transport. So all of those dollars are going to go to waste a fair bit. Maybe... I can set these things to be bought using dollars instead. Uh, this one is already being bought using dollars. This one's using dollars. Crap. Uh, is this using dollars? Mm, 
There's the electromechanical components. These things are being bought using dollars. What's the biggest problem with the rubles at the moment? Because there is a problem, that's for sure. Last month we spent... Well, not actually that much. We exported worth of 108,000 rubles, which is pretty decent. We imported 30,000, but no real exceptionally high export or import cost. So it seems to be mostly paying off the loans. Which means that I will have to do a couple of shipments to the border. Jeez, that's going to get expensive. Okay, let's say that I would want to buy uh, this using dollars. So we're going to make a loop. We're currently looking at 60,000 and we still have a long, long, long way to go. Is this also NATO territory? Shit, yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to have to go all the way over there. Like it or not. Currently looking at $180,000. And there's Kazinchad. This is not going to be pleasant. This is going to get really freaking expensive. 250000 341000 431,000. Yeah, never mind. That's too expensive. I cannot do that. Um, how can I fix this situation? How can I make this happen? Do I need to hire more third world workers here? Oh, 17 only. Okay. Um, all of you in here. 151.87. I guess I'm going to have to get another small loan. Otherwise I won't be able to get another one of my wagons for my larger train. I probably won't have enough uh, kindergarten room in this condition. But let's just see how it goes. Yeah, here. No uh, kindergarten. Alright, is my train back? Yes, it is. Right. Is this even affordable whatsoever? Uh, probably not. I would want a cargo wagon. <sighs> Just about. Just about. What I'm currently using are the tankers. We also have larger tankers. These can transport 120 tons versus the 60 tons of the tanker that I'm currently using. Um, I don't really want to get rid of the whole train. These are very interesting. I'm going to have to take another loan. This is probably going to put me under for quite a while, but so be it. I'll just have to figure out a way to fix this. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm already using these things. Never mind. You can now hold 720 tons. Oh, that's the maximum length of that train. Right. Yes. Right. In that case, my dear train, you can make another run. And hopefully get a bunch of cash. Because we're going to need it. We're going to need all the dollars. You can turn around. And you can head to the loading station here. Where fuel is far, far more important than the bitumen at the moment. Because with this thing, it's completely filled out. No, no, no. Where are you going? Come back here. What the hell is it doing? It just refuses to turn around. I'm going to turn off the bitumen for a bit. Because right now it seems to be a bit too happy. Trying to load up bitumen where... Well, there really isn't that much. 
neither is it that valuable. And the bitumen are not being filled up because the fuel storage is completely full. Now, let's see. How are we doing with school and university? Well, university is coming along nicely. We still need a lot of resources. Which is also a great way to burn money. But so be it. Uh, ah, finally, here's the train. Now, once it loads up 1500, or sorry, 720 tons of fuel, it's going to come back bearing a lot of dollars, which I can then reinvest into further industries closer to the Soviet border, which will hopefully allow me to get rid of that dollar, or sorry, rubble debt. Because that is getting concerning. And uh, it's mostly the payments on the loans that are doing me in. So what I have to do is make sure that I get some more export materials here. Let's see. Are all those extra immigrants being put to work? 56, 54. Uh, this one's building fabrics, which we have a decent amount of. Do we have enough transportation methods? I know we have two buses coming in here, or three even. That should be enough. Um, are these people all at work? Yeah, most of them are. That's good. I need productive workers. 22 workers can't work because there's no kindergarten. 29, no kindergarten. Okay, can I squeeze in a kindergarten in this little area here? Or is that too much to ask? That is too much to ask. Alright, in that case... Where can I fit it in? This thing is at max cap. So is that. In that case, I guess I have to put it in here. I don't really like it, but so be it. Alright, buy that using dollars. And establish another footpath from here to there. Buy that using do Oh. That was rubles, wasn't it? Building is without power supply. Right, where is the nearest power supply? Because I have brought this in from the border. And then I have a substation here and another transformer there. I also have a transformer... Or no, that's a substation. Yeah, substation. So I would need to get another substation relatively closer to there. Uh... Unless I just go in front of these buildings. Yeah, that could work. So I'm going to go this way, this way, this way. And now I'm going to have to make a bit of a turn. Turn, turn, turn. Substation. Like that. And then set up this here. Buy that using dollars. And buy that using dollars. And that. Alright, and now we have power. And we can dump all the mini workers in there. How many people can run slash walk to this? Oh, plenty. That's good. Plenty of people can make it there. So arguably that's going to make sure that the people work here a little harder. And yes, they might still leave because they don't have... Well, spirituality and culture and stuff. Stop complaining. I'm also going to have to set up another kindergarten here. Because this thing, these two buildings here, are having similar problems. They just can't get rid of their children. They just cannot get to work. Let's expand the road a bit. And then the kindergarten. Uh, that's food. School. No, I don't need a school. I need a kindergarten. Built that there. And then get a footpath sorted from here all the way there. Path here, path here, path here. Other one there. Buy all. Buy this. No staff or workers uh, currently. 12 workers without a job. Well, guess what? You just promoted to a kindergarten teacher. Or staffer. 
How much am I exporting last month? 109,000. Okay. Uh, that's about half a million. That's another half a million. That's 400k. So that's... Oof, that's 1.4 million that I'm currently down. Dollar-wise, I should be doing okay. I have exported worth almost 200,000 worth of dollars. Uh, I have been dipping into it a bit, but that's mostly because I imported a whole bunch of people from the third world. And they are now happily, or well, mostly happily, living in the buildings over here in Kazanchad. Right, back to university town. University is... oh, it's not even halfway done. Let's see, if I go to Kazanchad and I want to export more stuff, what are they paying well for? Um, uranium oxide is really high. Chemicals is really high. Alcohol is really high. Oh. How does one make that? Is that... No, that's equipment for citizens, so that's not so much exports. Clothing, fabric, sawmill, nope. Food related, I guess. Meat storage. Grocery store, distillery. Bingo. They will produce 6 tons of alcohol per workday at maximum capacity of 100 workers. They will require 30 tons of crops. I suppose that's perfectly possible. And these are really small buildings. Now, are there any workers in here that don't have a job? Because then I can just have them work at the distillery. I could set up the distillery at a road down here. Uh, where was it? Here. Oh, right, there's infrastructure in the way. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, here, maybe. I will buy that using dollars. It's 52,000. Let's say that's an investment. And set up a few more buildings over here. Prefab flats. Uh, one there, using dollars, yes please. And another one there. And I hope that there's still room in the kindergarten, because we're going to need that. Building is without power. Uh, we are missing crops. We're going to be importing those using a bunch of dollars. And I'll need a vehicle to start exporting that stuff. No, that's not my vehicle depot. Hello, vehicle depot? Where'd I put you? I know I have one. Here. Alright, um, using dollars? Nope, that's gonna have to be rubles, I'm afraid. I suppose I need a cover truck for that? Not really a dumper truck, covered hull. Um, this one can then transport two tons of alcohol. That's really very little. Let's go for this one. This can transport four tons of alcohol. All right, JE300. Pay attention. You're going to start here, and you're going to drop off the alcohol in Kazinchad. Commence. We're probably going to need quite a few workers here, but fortunately most of them are already working. And now I just need to set up my uh, power lines here. I wouldn't want to leave my people in the dark in more ways than one. Let's say that I'm going to set that up here. I would extend... Oh, not like that. I would extend this road to here. And then this road... Oh, really? To here. <laughs> Why do you feel like you have to make a turn like that? Why? Seriously. Crossing not allowed. You bet it is. Oh, come on now. Fine. I'll get rid of that. Then I'll re-establish the dirt path, or the mud path. There. And now I should be able to extend it to here. And just connect this like that. And set up the power line. Medium voltage. It's going to have to come from oh, all the way in the middle of the town. This is going to be a ragtag band of power lines. Not really a fan. 
But they have to get power somehow. Connection angle too sharp. There. Oh, and now I've been building two different power lines. Pay attention. There we go. So you should now get power, and that means that you people have power. There are workers without a job. But we are... Ooh, we're generating a lot of alcohol. Nice. Now, can I export that fast enough? This one is going to the distillery. And it can hold 15 tons of alcohol. The truck can hold 4. It's really only using... <laughs> it's carrying... 1100 rubles worth of alcohol. I don't think that that's too much, but all right. And once again, I am pretty much down on the rubles. I think I'm going to drive my economy nuts. I can probably dig myself out of this hole, but the problem lies in the fact that every vehicle that I want to buy is bought by rubles. So, I need a way to generate rubles faster. I'm going to once again have to loan a few rubles. Because otherwise I won't be able to get vehicles. So I'll buy two more 300s. Uh, closed vehicles. Here. And I want you to copy your schedule to those two new vehicles. Start and start. And this is going to make me pay even more. But so be it. So be it. I just hope that I can get a lot more alcohol produced. Because that is going to, at some point, start to add up. And alcohol exports for... Uh, 283 clothing exports for 1436 but I haven't really found it to be that lucrative and sure enough you could use crops here but crops are really cheap so I feel comfortable buying those because this is a thousand for 16 tons of crops so that should be sustainable Let's see, overall economy, this month, exported Soviet blocks, 9,000 worth of alcohol. And 77,000 worth of clothing. Right. How's the train doing? Let's check back in with the train. Because the train had a pretty busy time trying to get rid of all the fuel. Now there is no fuel and a lot of bitumen. So now I'll add another few stops. Um, yeah, you're going to go there. You're going to unload. Hold on. I want to get rid of that. Yes, yes. Um, over here, I want you to load both oil and bitumen. Uh, sorry, not oil. Bitumen and fuel. That one can be removed. I don't really expect it to be to be loading both at the same time. Train's currently only loading fuel. Yeah, I cannot do it when it's out of the station. Um, there's not that much fuel remaining here, though. There is a bunch over here. At the export oil tank. That should be drawn in here. Hmm. If I tell it to load, let's say about 49%, does that mean that it departs once it has 360 tons? 
Because I don't need it to wait this long. I just want it to go to get me a bit more dollars. 340? Three fifty, near enough. And the bitumen is piling up here. Three sixty. Nope, it's not leaving. Why not? Why not? I wonder if I could, instead of buying oil, just bring it back via the train. Let's say I would want to get oil. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to... Is it going to cost me 35 tons or is it going to get me 35 tons? I think it's going to get me 35 oil. Let's check. Economy. Current prices. Oil. Uh, yeah. If I sell it, it's 35. If I buy it, it's 39. So that's the export price. So that probably wouldn't help me too much. Come on. Get a move on. Thank you. For some reason, it now stopped. It's carrying definitely more than that. I don't know. Sometimes the game doesn't really make sense to me. Now, has actually exporting rubles helped? Or exporting alcohol? Yeah, it helped a bit. That one plant is getting me about 20k. And that is... the whole month of August. So that's decent. And I didn't even start at the beginning of August. I started just, I think, halfway through August. Last month. Alcohol. Ah, it won't stick. I exported a decent amount. But I need more. So I'll probably, on the next episode, work on setting up more of a distillery over here, close to Kazanchad. And by doing so, I'll hopefully get a lot more cash. Anyway, that's all for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you soon for the next episode.